CML here, rocking with Thizzler. Subscribe below. <laughs> Bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, I, I got locked up for just being me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, a rapper come at me, say some slick shit. I say something back, but it's like, but I'm different from rappers. You know what I mean? It's like my background, you know what I'm saying? I didn't get my background from rapping. I got my background from being in the projects. You know what I'm saying? Catching gun cases. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. You know, not just rapping and not ever having to face no consequences. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, when a rapper say something to me, Oh, it's just, oh, he's a rapper. But when I say something back, oh, oh, he tripping, it's a threat. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, being another rapper, you know what I'm saying, have some words. DB the general, you know what I mean, to be exact. Uh, we had some words, you know, and I said what I said on the internet, but it wasn't nothing like no terrorist threats or nothing like that. I just said, you talking all that shit, you can't come back to Sacramento. You know what I mean? So I guess, you know, me being on parole, you know what I'm saying? I like the next day, you know what I mean? The next day they came, but it was crazy because parole, my parole officer didn't violate me, you know what I mean? SAC PD violated me, and that's crazy because how can the police department violate a parolee? You know what I mean? So I'm sitting in jail for five days. And I'm like, why the fuck I'm in jail? I ain't got no police report. I ain't got no parole report. I'm just in jail, you know, I'm just in custody. So I'm stressed out. I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was bigger than what it actually was. I'm like, damn, you know what I mean? They trying to build a case on me. Then I get some papers up under my door and it say, Sacramento rapper, CML, Lavish D, went on Instagram live and whatever, said what he said to rapper DB the general, that he can't come back to Sacramento or he's gonna be repercussions from, you know what I'm saying, me and my gang or me and my people or whatever like that. So I guess they took it upon themselves, police department, you know what I'm saying, it's probable, probable cause to uh, come get me, you know what I'm saying, and take me down, you know what I mean? So that was that, you know, so it's like, that was bullshit, real bullshit, you know what I mean? But, you know, it wasn't that serious, it was just some controversy, you know what I mean? So now I'm back, but, you know what I'm saying, they tried to give me a couple months, but, you know, shit went in my favor and I'm back, you know, so that's just what it is, you know? I mean, DB, I mean, we, we was cool, you know what I mean? Like, like honestly, like, like, I only fucked with him one time, you know what I mean? So, I only fucked with him one time. And uh, I thought he was a real street nigga. I'm a real street nigga, you know what I mean? So, it's like, I don't just get on diss songs just to diss a nigga, you know what I mean? Just to give niggas protection and give niggas my rank and my clout and my uh, security. You get what I'm saying? So, it's like... You know, that's when all this shit was going on with Filthy Rich back in the day, you know what I mean? And um, he hit me, DB hit me like, oh, I want to uh, come fuck with you with the, uh, I got a song, they dissing us or whatever. I want to, you know what I'm saying, come get you on something, which will whoop, send me the track. I did my verse, came the next day, we did the uh, video, you know what I'm saying? We did the video, all happened in two days. That was the last time I seen DB, you know what I mean? But make a long story short, he just started coming around, you know what I'm saying? But shortly after that, I went to jail, you know what I'm saying? And when I went to jail, you know, I got like damn near four years. They gave me six years with half and I was catching time up in there. So I damn near did like four years. But this whole time I was in jail, you know, I'm talking to him and shit. And, uh, you know, I'm talking to him, not often, but I'm sending him little verses and shit, rapping over the phone and, you know what I mean? He's, uh, he was um, putting, putting my verses and shit on his songs but he wouldn't put feature in me, you know what I mean? It'd just be DB the General and have me as like an intro or something. And I'd be like, why, um, why you ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, like me, I ain't gonna just declare war, you know what I'm saying? I gotta know my opponent, you know what I mean? Before I declare war, you know what I'm saying? I gotta study you, I gotta know y'all, okay, can. he weak. You know what I'm saying? So I get at him like, you know, like respectful, like bro, you keep putting my songs up, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping, I sent them to you anyway, but you chopping them down, you ain't putting future in me. And then he like, oh, Thizzler, you know what I'm saying? Thizzler, they don't fuck with you. you know? They don't wanna put your name up on there because all the controversy and all the beef shit or whatever. So I'm like, oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you know, all right. Well, I ain't sending you no other verses, you know what I mean? And then 
you know, he started banging the hood, basically, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Sacramento, you know what I mean? So he started coming to Sacramento, you know what I'm saying? And just started basically claiming what we claim, you know? Like, like he was claiming what we, what we claim. If you listen to his music, every song he's saying, 30 Boys, Valley High, Macro, g Pro, that's our shit, you know what I mean? That's, that's us, that's Sacramento shit, that's us, you know what I mean? And he was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you ain't from this shit, you know? But I. Like, you cool with my little homies, you know what I'm saying? Like, you cool with my little homies, you know, for me. Ain't none of my little homies got no more say so than what I got, though. So at the end of the day, final say, if I say something, like, you can't come around, you can't come around. It ain't gonna be no, oh, we gonna have him around. And ain't, no, you can't come around, you dig? So he getting cool with these dudes and shit. And uh, y'all wasn't tripping, y'all wasn't tripping, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? So when I get out of jail, when I get out of jail, uh, you know, I see some shit. That's when he started fucking back with a couple people that he was just acting like he was really shooting at or getting shot at. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't say he shot at nobody, nobody shot at him, but the way the shit was going, I didn't know what was going on, you dig what I'm saying? But this one I was really like, I'm gonna I'm keep it real. This one I was really taking the, the politics serious. Like if I would've seen certain people like, you know what I'm saying, it would've been a problem, like a real issue, like, you feel me? And I'm glad I didn't see certain people because I probably wouldn't be here talking about this shit right now, you get what I'm saying? So. He started being cool with certain people, you feel me? And um, but you repping this shit over here, like, so, you know what I'm saying? I revoked this whole past, like, you can't come back out here, you feel me? You can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't. No, I, I didn't say you couldn't come back out here. I'm like, I just ain't fucking with you. So my little homies hit me one day, you know what I'm saying? Actually, I'm coming to, uh, I'm on my way to a show. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my I'm on my way to a show out there in uh Visalia. And they hit me like, you know, DB doing a video out here right now, you know what I'm saying? We all up here, what's happening? I said, nah, I gave him a pass, you know, I ain't tripping like that. He, 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 he's a punk, you feel what I'm saying? That's how I felt, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, um, it's nothing, you know what I'm saying? Don't, um, don't do nothing to him. I, I said, don't do nothing to him, you know what I'm saying? I don't do nothing to him, you know what I mean? So, and, um, you know, that was that. He don't know I gave him a pass, but I gave him a pass, you know what I'm saying? They would've, you feel me, wouldn't have let him leave if it was that serious, you know? But I gave him a pass, and, uh, you know, and just recent, like, you know, I stopped fucking, I, I just stopped fucking with a lot of niggas. Like, it was a lot of niggas I was fucking with when I was in jail. And then when I got out, I just started seeing they was bitches. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I seen they was bitches and I seen that, you know what I'm saying? They was too busy focused on what me and Filthy Rich had going on. You dig what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm going to be cool with you because you ain't cool with him. Or I'm going to be cool with him because he ain't cool with him. So it's like, then I'm looking I'm, and I'm peeping these niggas, right? Because I'm like, in my, in my city, like, I'm a real nigga. Like, my name ring bells, like. You know what I'm saying? Just for being a stand-up dude. So I'm just peeping a lot of niggas. So I just start falling back on a lot of people, you know what I mean? A lot of these rappers, you know what I mean? I start falling back on them and shit. Cause I'm seeing they like, they trying to use a nigga clout and they ain't nobody's, you know what I mean? So, so I had to uh, rebuild my team. I had to rebuild my team, you dig what I'm saying? Like I had to start fucking with niggas from my hood, niggas, you know what I'm saying, family, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like if I feel like you ain't no real nigga, I had to start fucking with you, you dig what I'm saying? Because like, I'm real when it comes to this shit. Then niggas seeing certain people and ain't nothing happening. So I'm just like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you just in this shit for the clout. And you in this shit trying to claim the fame and you ain't really with the shit. But you know what I'm saying? We only fucking with each other because we both funking with him or some shit like that. And I really ain't funking with a nigga. And now, you feel me? When I sat down, I had all that time to think in jail. And I was just like, you know, I really ain't even funking with these niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Like, now it's the niggas I'm funking with as rappers, but. I'm like, I'm not even really funking with this nigga though. Like, like you know? So, you know, I just, I'm not funking with niggas, you feel me? So I cut all ties to everybody who was trying to just rock with me just because they was into it with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because it keep problems going on. Like, I don't post niggas on my Instagram dissing them. Like, I don't really make, I don't make no diss on I talk shit in my songs, that's just what I do. But like, like I really ain't been making no diss songs. Like, you feel me? I just been doing me because I know, like, like I said earlier, a lot of these niggas is just rappers. Like, I'm more than a rapper, you know what I mean? And, and that just shows you about the shit I just went to jail for. You know what I'm saying? Just for saying a nigga can't come to Sacramento. Oh, you going to jail for that? That's a threat. We know how you get down. We know y'all shooting and killing or rock, whatever they think. I went to jail for that. It's niggas on there, you know what I'm saying? You got motherfuckers running around here, riding around with AR-15s, jumping out on kids. You know what I'm saying? And a motherfucking thing happening. And this is on camera. So, so shit, if somebody, somebody tell him, and it ain't me, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the reason I fell out with these niggas, you feel me? And he ain't the only one, DB ain't the only one, you feel me? I ain't gonna name drop because 
ain't nobody else. He ain't even worth speaking on, honestly. Nigga ain't buzzing, you know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't getting no sales, nigga ain't doing no shows, you feel me? But it's other niggas I'll start fucking with too, you feel me, that I was cool with, but that don't mean, you know what I'm saying, that it's a problem if I see you, hey, what's up? You feel what I'm saying? It's just, I ain't, I ain't in your politics because you niggas really ain't with the shit like that. You dig what I'm saying? You looking for me and my niggas to be with the shit. You know what I'm saying? To rock for you. You like you ain't rocking for yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Like shit happens to these niggas all the time and don't nothing get done about it. You know what I'm saying? So I can't. I stand on solid principles, and I just had to be the bigger person and just cut and cut all ties with these rap niggas and just focus on myself. Now that I focus on myself, you know what I'm saying? That's when I start buzzing because I ain't worried about your problems. I ain't worried about his problems. I'm worried about my problems. You know what I'm saying? And my family problems. You dig what I'm saying? Because we're a family over here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas ain't family, so that's just what it is.